Hi there, it's Kelly from Silly Moon Quilting Co. Today we're going to talk turkey. Turkey is our three inch ruler. So typically if you have a sashing or a border that's three inches, turkey's going to work perfectly for that. He will also work perfectly anytime you've got a space that is divisible by three. Now that's not to say you can't use turkey in other areas and we do have some other um, ideas for that. But that's why he was made and the markings on him will be um, show you why he's perfect for that three inch strip that you've got in front of you. So you'll see here with turkey we've got our sticky tape on the back of uh, four different spots on turkey. That allows us to have good grip, especially if we're working on our domestic machine. All of your rulers that come from Silly Moon Quilting Co. will have a little piece like this of um, sticky tape. And you can cut that up into smaller pieces like I have here. And that will, uh, just like I said before, give you that extra little bit of grip. Please make sure you don't use um, your fabric scissors to cut that as you will definitely dull them and perhaps destroy them. It is a little bit abrasive. Also remember that if you've got a sew slip mat or a supreme slider on your machine to make sure that you don't let that sticky tape come in contact with them. We do have on the back of our sticky tape packaging which is sold separately a little bit of a information session to tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing with your sticky tape. You'll notice as with all of our rulers all of our lines are engraved not etched or screen printed so they will never come off and they show up really well on different colors of fabric. Um, you'll see here that we've got a little indent area here what that means that's like a spacer for that we're going to use while we're going along. So I'm going to tuck my ruler foot in here and your needle when you're ruler quilting your needle is always a quarter inch away from the edge of your ruler foot. So from here to here is always a quarter inch and what that means is that ruler foot will fit right in there. So if I line up that edge and that edge on my seam and I'm calling this a seam it's just a marked line but if you're going to line that up on my seam that will show you or line you up rather perfectly so that you can stitch straight down just like that and that will allow you to stitch straight down. Now you'll notice here I'm using simple nitrile gloves today. These are not typically what I use for uh, quilting on my domestic machine. However, I am using them because they're black and they keep the, um, the camera from refocusing when I use my white gloves. So that's what I'm using today. So the very first thing that we came up with Turkey was to create a serpentine line. And you'll notice here that there's three engraved lines on Turkey. So there's this one, one, two, three, all across this section. What I want to do is I want to make sure that my ruler, my needle is down in my seam, which I've already done here. And then I'm going to tuck this little portion of the ruler in behind the ruler foot. And then I'm going to rotate Turkey so that this line that is closest to the hole here, that's the one I want to focus on. So the third line, so there's one, two, three lines. I want that third line to, to be focused on this same seam. That is going to give us a nice straight line. Now I've got a three inch um, area pieced out here or marked out here. And you'll notice that this little tiny marking here, let's see if I can zoom in on that, that little tiny marking on the toe of Turkey ends up in line with this seam. Now, if your piecing is not quite right and you need to do a little of adjust, adjustment, you can you, by just moving turkey a tiny bit, or you can certainly take an extra stitch or stop one stitch early. But if your strip is per, pieced perfectly at three inches, this will work beautiful for you. So I brought up my bobbin thread. And now we're just going to do a little bit of stitching down this edge. We want to make sure that our hands are placed on either side of our ruler foot because that's where we have the most control. I want to put my fingers here and here because that gives me the most control of my ruler. And because Turkey's a little bit larger, I'll also put another thumb down here just to give me a little bit extra control as we're going along that edge. I have pulled up my bobbin thread and done a couple locking stitches. So now I'm just going to bring my ruler foot down here and I'm going to glide along the edge of Turkey and hold on tight. And that brings me down. That gives me a nice little serpentine line that brings me down the edge of turkey quite nicely so that I've created a serpentine line there. 
Now what I want to do is I want to echo that serpentine line. So I want to have serpentine lines going all the way down here, but I want them spaced perfectly. So that's when this little edge of spacing of turkey comes in. I've got a line here and a line there. So I'm going to hold that. I'm going to put the edge on my seam and I'm going to use that to stitch straight down. I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to bring turkey back to the exact same position. So the little part on the foot is there and then I'm going to turn this so that this lines up so that this line, the third line is on the marked line that I've got on my quilt. And I'm going to hold everything and I'm going to bring it back towards me. Keeping in mind that you've got your feed dogs down so that you don't have resistance going the opposite direction. And then I can continue that along a three inch border very, very easily. And we do have another product on the market called Spacey that will be able to help you if you want different spacing for these. Same basic idea, but it's a whole bunch of different sizes, not just the one inch. So by doing this, you're consistently repeating that serpentine line look along your border. And you just make sure every time that you line up nicely and they will end up being nice and consistent and all look the same. So you've got beautiful serpentine lines there and we'll do one more because I want to show you one more thing with this. So by doing this, I've done my serpentine line, but what's really cool about Turkey is we can create this really neat pattern. And by getting to the center there, if I bring Turkey towards me and keep the head always facing away from me, so we're calling this the head of Turkey, if that's always facing away from me and I rotate this the other direction, and I've got another three inch strip drawn here and I hold turkey this way now. Let's turn that a little bit so you can see a little better under there. So I'm holding turkey the other direction. I go back up turkey. And I want to stop when I get to my seam. I'm going to take the edge of turkey. I'm going to stitch straight down again. And then I'll keep bringing turkey back to me. The trick with this design is making sure that this little toe is always in the center. And then I'll bring turkey towards me, the head pip pointing away the entire time. And I'll rotate there, making sure that I'm nice and lined up. And this is how we can create what ends up being this super cool little whale tail look. I'll turn that there and bring that out a little bit. So you end up creating a neat little whale tail look. And if you're really careful, you can get that nice little corner nice and precise there. But you can see how that ends up being a really neat little whale tail design. And then you can fill these with whatever you want, straight lines or whatever. And if you do a bunch of them, one on top of the other, then if you fill in every second one, that's really cool. And if you go to our website, you'll see different photos of that, um, how, how we've used it for that purposes, okay? So we've turned everything around a little bit here, and now we're going to do the other two main components of turkey. So you can see here, there's this edge that is kind of where I, I call it the stuffing end of turkey, and then there's the head end of turkey. Now the difference between these is because you are going along on the inside of this, you will create a sharp point. If you go up around this edge, it will be a rounded point. And let me show you how that works. So we're going to start with this side. And this time when you line up turkey on your three inch strip, you're using the line that goes through the holes on both sides. So that lines you up nicely. We're going to bring our needle over to here. I'm not going to bring my, my thread up this time. I'm just going to do a couple locking stitches to show you. So I'm going to make sure I hold that nice and firm. And then I'm going to come up. 
And sometimes it's okay to do a little pause in there to create a nice little V. So I can now make the choice as to whether or not I want to turn turkey the other direction and create a neat little box. Making sure that the same lines are lined up on there and I'm holding down turkey with the toes. But I can then go this way and create a little box. So I've created my little box and you can see here now I'm moved over to the other side of the three inch strip. So this is my first three inch strip right in the box and then I'm going to move over here and I'm going to line up again and it's another three inch strip. So I can then use that. I want to show you something different with turkey. So I'm going to stop there and that stops within my three inch border. Now if you notice here all of these lines on turkey, we can now echo this chevron going that direction. So anytime I put my my ruler edge on the line I just stitched, that means my stitches are now going to be a quarter inch away. But I want to do them a little bit further. So I'm going to just use the little edge on turkey. Not because I'm using it to measure a distance, but because I just want to make sure that I'm stitching straight. If I this was a true quilt and I had a ditch here, that would line up easily and I wouldn't have a problem. So what I want to do is I want to line up the first engraved line here. So here's the edge of turkey. Here's the first engraved line. Easier if I do this. The first engraved line here. And then I'm lining up my two side lines that we did the first one to make sure that I'm nice and even and square. So then what I can do is I can go back here and I can stop here and then I start creating a chevron along my design. So the difference, the only difference with the other side of turkey, so this side of turkey, is that we use the same lines to line up, but as you'll see here, I go up and around that edge And now I end up with a rounded chevron. So it's basically, you can repeat the same way. So I could go up a little bit here. And if this was my ditch, I wouldn't necessarily want or need to use this edge. And you can make that call. But if I go a little bit further, I can bring that ruler up so that my lines are still lined up here on the side. But let's move it up so that now we're using the third line so not the edge of the ruler but the third line and that will then create an echo of that pattern going the other direction so you could easily do this along the border of a quilt and it looks quite quite interesting when you do that so those are the basics of turkey um, we do offer a class with turkey where we go into a whole bunch of different designs uh, feel free to check that out on our website. Um, yeah, so that's the basics of turkey. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send us a message or comment down below. And we will do more videos in the future on turkey, but we just wanted to go over the basics. Thanks so much and have a great day.